Hey folks, Revolutionary Brewer here. Happy Home Brew Wednesday, and uh, today's a fun day here at the Revolutionary Brewery because we've received some beer mail from one of my subscribers, and as you can see, it was inconspicuously packaged in a box with a big glass of beer on it. <laughs> I got a kick out of that when I got to the post office, but uh, Anyway, big thanks to uh, Drunk Canuck 73 He sent me uh, four different brews here, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's have a look and see what we got here. So we have a uh, dark ale. These are all in uh, 500 uh, milliliter bottles. We've got a dark ale here, and it looks like this was actually made with a Cooper's Dark Ale Kit, so that should be really interesting to try. Let's see what else we got. We have a... A red ale. Now this one, I got something special planned for this, and this will be my next video. This brew was actually uh, brewed with a Morgan's uh, Royal Oak Amber Ale Kit. And I've done the same kit in the past, and it just so happens I have one bottle left. It's aged now for about a year. It's been sitting in the fridge for a month. And uh, the reason I put it aside is because um, I wanted to compare it with his... Uh, amber ale but what I'm going to do I'm going to put this in the fridge for a few days uh, to let it chill up let the sediment settle out so it gets a proper taste test so that should be very interesting uh, let's see what else we got here uh, we got a little Clancy's bottle IPA now this is what he calls his um, draft Dodger IPA it's actually made with uh, Cooper's draft and he adds some extra uh, grains and hops in there to uh, give it a little extra kick so that should be interesting to try and we also have one more and this one I'm definitely going to do a review on because he brewed it in a kit that I have uh, I have not tried before so this is his uh, Pilsner and this was made with a Morgan's Canadian Pilsner kit and uh, I have never tried one of those kits before so again we're going to get this in the fridge get it chilled up, uh, make sure it's nice and ready to go, and it should be interesting. So thanks again to uh, Drunk Canuck. Uh, you know, it looks like a great package here. Looking forward to trying these beers here, and I'm looking forward to uh, especially the Amber Ale to see how it turned out compared to mine. So we'll see how, we'll see how it is. And uh, unbelievably, check it out. He packaged most of these beers with just like a little bit of uh, newspaper and a little bit of uh, not even bubble wrap just plastic wrap just put four bottles in a box and wrote on it fragile this side well there you go you care yeah fragile this side up and uh, somehow the beers came perfectly not a scratch on them I figured that when I opened this box at least a couple would be busted you know going through Canada Post and that but everything's looking good anyways uh, like I said folks stay tuned uh, coming up uh, probably in about a week or so we'll have the uh, taste off drunk Canuck 73 versus revolutionary brewer let's see who brews the best uh, Morgan's amber ale all right uh, thanks for tuning in uh, cheers and we'll see you soon